222 and I'm about to make some chocolate chip cookies with very few chocolate chips because that's how I feel like they're the best. Why are you not focusing on me? All right, anyways, we're gonna make some cookies. It's way, way too late, like way too early, whatever you wanna say, but I'm excited. I've been craving a good cookie for like a week or so now, so. It is currently, I wanna say like 3 a.m. 4 a.m., holy shit, it's 4.01. I just made chocolate chip cookies. I don't like unpopular opinion, I know. I don't like chocolate chip cookies with like too many chocolate chips, but I do like them when they're nice and warm. So, cheers, let's try it, I'm excited. I, I know it's gonna be great because I make this recipe anytime I want chocolate chip cookies, but welcome to the weekly vlog. Oh, it's so nice and like soft and warm in the middle still. This is exactly what I've been craving. It's so good. Also so lit and so tired, if you can't already tell. All right, I need some water. I'm sure nobody's surprised, but we're headed to Trader Joe's because we need groceries and for whatever reason, we're weekly grocery shoppers. I wish we were like monthly grocery shoppers. That'd be so, so clutch. We're monthly on some items. I find, <laughs> I find that large dogs never think they outgrow the lap dog position. Stuff out of it. Yeah, because she just licked it out of focus. Yeah. That is why it's out of focus. She does not get a ride up here very often. I didn't talk to y'all at all yesterday. River getting back. She always sits there in the fucking driver's seat and waits for Kyle to come back and then like I'm, just like stands there like. I'm gonna just start letting her drive. You don't know how to drive? <laughs> she needs to get her license soon. Yes. We just stopped at Speedway, got an icy and a little water. I am so warm in this. This is like the only jacket I have that actually is like windproof somehow. This shit's crazy. It is so comfy. I throw that thing on to take River out at night all the time. Oh my God, the first time I threw this on, River looked at me like, did you just, is that me? Like she looked at it so weird for a jacket. I feel like she definitely knew it kind of resembles her coat. What, you want your coat? Tell me why every time we get out of Trader Joe's, I immediately eat an entire pack of Madeleines with Kyle. They're every so time. Good. They're so good. They taste just like the ones I make. And I feel like it really hits home when the food tastes like what you make at home. Quick little grocery overview moment. This is the cold stuff, so we'll start here. I've got some thyme. This goes in the stew recipe Kyle and I have been making recently. Also, the recipe for that soup will be going up on Kyle's page rather soon. It's so good. Some eggs, of course. Let's see. Looks like all my produce is in here. Four onions, garlic, and some golden potatoes. Some lettuce, because we've been eating like fried egg BLTs recently, which is super simple, like a fast, good little sandwich. That's a switch up from like a lunch meat sandwich. We've never tried this. Orange chicken. I think I've heard good things about this, so hopefully it's good. I've also heard good things about their fried rice, but my Trader Joe's is like very hit or miss of if they have the fried rice. Speaking of BLTs, we've got some bacon. I'm, looks like we got two packs of the regular bacon this is some of the best bacon some mini peanut butter cups they haven't had any of these the last few times i've been so that's lit grated parmesan you guys already know i always get the one that has like the green seal on it jasmine rice some flour i tried this like maybe a month ago and it it, it works it's flour tortilla chips these are like the black bean quinoa ones taste really good they do have some sort of flavor to them that's not like tortilla chip but it's i don't know it's good i like it we've also been really liking this organic white bread it's like a little bit more firm than your average white bread but it's good i just like feeling like i'm eating more organic it makes me feel good i've also been obsessed with the coffee ice cream so kyle picked up a chocolate one i think he meant to grab the coffee one but i'm sure this one's still really good a baguette for the steak sandwiches we make and then this is some cinnamon roll bread another go-to another pack of Madeline's. These are so good. And then some vegetable pouches. These are also really good. And twisted cinnamon sugar bread. Some sort of different cinnamon bread to try. It looks really cool. I like like the twistedness of it. Some mango bars. These are also like a favorite of ours. Orange juice and tangerine juice because Kyle feels the need to have both. Milk, vegetable spring rolls, 
These are also very good. They give a very similar energy to the vegetable pouches. Some organic heavy cream and one tomato because this was literally the only good tomato they had. I literally hate everything my hair is doing right now, so I'm wetting it down because that is the answer to all of my problems. And I'm just gonna put in some leave-in conditioner because she needs it and then we got some meal prep to do no matter what i do today my hair is just she's not giving here's where i'm at this will probably give much better results than where i was before so i'm gonna let this dry and go get started on that sauce since it's got to simmer for like three hours after wine and milk cook out of it so probably like four hours i don't even know it's gonna be a minute i hope it's good i'm sure it will be that bowl's clogged she don't want to come through The aggressive squeeze. She puts a lot of like emphasis into them. Oh. At this point, it just has to simmer for like four hours. Gotta start on stew. Yeah, it's about to start on the soup. I'm so excited. We're on the way to the dispo. Hmm. She sees a dog, mm. so she's upset. But you want to say hey, huh? Mm. <laughs> that we just relatively recently got back from the dispo. So I ended up picking up three zips of the same strain. I've been absolutely loving Frosted Wedding Pie recently. And if you guys, if you know, you know, I don't do that like ever. I typically just try a bunch of new things, a bunch of different stuff, see what I like, but I found something I absolutely love. So I picked up three zips of that and then I got an eighth of like something fun to try. I think the plan for tonight, Kyle and I wanna make some cookies, like cookie boxes. If you guys, I don't know about your Instagram, but the last few years I've seen so many good cookie boxes that look so aesthetically pleasing. And since Kyle started making food on Instagram, I was like, we have to make a cookie box. Plus it will double as such a good Christmas gift for like our friends and family. So I think we're going to do that, make like really bomb cookie boxes. And then I'll show you all the behind the scenes of that. I don't know what else I got to do. I feel like there's something else I'm missing. I know I'm going Christmas shopping tomorrow because you had to order things by the 17th, which was yesterday to be like assured that you'll get it by Christmas. So... I gotta go like in-person shop. I've done some shopping. I just decided when I was in-person shopping that I was gonna do online shopping and then I decided I wasn't gonna do that. We've been having plenty of issues with like packages actually coming to my house and not like my neighbor's houses. The holidays just get really hectic. So I'm gonna just go shop in person and it'll be, it'll be good. You have candy corn and donut, don't you? Yeah, she'll keep two of them on her always. We are about to film making some tomato pasta. This shit is so good and um, I'm ready to eat it. I'm ready to eat so it good. too. I'll show y'all like behind the scenes of this. She is probably gonna have to have that confiscated, it sounds like. <laughs> it's not gonna be much of an ASMR. She said, all right, I'll stop. Step one, what do we use? Two or three cloves? Last time we had two cloves and like a tiny one, but these two are pretty big, so we'll probably just use these. Okay. So. There's actually probably another one in here just like yesterday. A little tomato paste and um tomato sauce. Hold on, I'll show you. Here is the tomato sauce I use for this. And then tomato paste. This a little goes a long way. You only use like two tablespoons of this. I also use a good amount of Parmesan in this sauce and I like to top it with like a dollop of ricotta cheese because it's just so good. I'm waiting for our water to come to a boil because with this recipe, water has to come to a boil and then you go on to fucking um, make the sauce at the same time. More Italian seasoning. Could use a little more salt. Okay, you'll see how good this looks. And Kyle loves my little ricotta trick too. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Definitely let me know what y'all made for dinner. The absolute mess I just made because I tried to put the biggest bite I've ever eaten in my whole mouth. Apparently, I just hit 125K. I really want to try making the sauce separately and saving it. It's a pretty good sized portion. This plate's pretty big. We are about to leave and go do some Christmas shopping. I gotta throw on some shoes. I'm gonna wear these winter vans. Seriously, some of the comfiest shoes I own. Don't wanna hear a brief story 
I'm ready to go. Hmm, can you tell River Lake the camera? It is 444. We are currently on the way to the gas station to grab an icy and some gas and then going to Ulta. Mm, it's really thick, it's good. Without fail, Miss Ma'am gets in the car and takes a fat nap as soon as we get on the highway. Kyle's running into Walmart for me. He's gonna see if they have SD cards. Last time we were here, they didn't have any except for like 16 gigabyte SD cards. And the ones that aren't SanDisk, I think they might be Walmart brand, are actually really good and they're super cheap. I've never had an issue with them. I think I might stop at Best Buy and see if they have a mic because my other camera, like my big DSLR, the Rode mic just sucks. I don't have any SD cards, just micro SD cards. Damn, I was like, that was way too quick for you to have gotten through a line with how packed this is. I see like these like podcast mics. My total ended up being 1616. Next stop and hopefully the last stop is going to be Alta. I'm just trying to put together some little self-care gift bags, I guess if you will. We made it to Alta. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. I get drawn in as soon as I come in here. I forget what I'm in here for. I'm all of a sudden in here to shop for myself. Here is like the first thing on my list. I really wanted to get some Mighty Patches. Dreamy skin. I think they're like clouds and hearts and stars. That's okay. I might have to get these. I've never tried this brand though. I don't know. There's a fancy blush I really want. This ginger binge in Moscow Mule I've been eyeing for so long. We have one left, let's see. We're heading to Trader Joe's and then we're going home. We just got home and I'm honestly cutting it like very short on this two hour timeline to get my food in the fridge. So hold on. Cooler bags first. I'll kind of show you what I got really fast. I got this to try out. I've never tried before. These chocolate little mousse cake desserts. I don't know what they are, but they look really good. These are also super good. We tried these last time because they were out of our mango bars. These are yummy. Some mango bars. Last time we were there and no coffee bean blast, but this is so good. The chocolate's pretty good too, but. Also got some edamame because I've been craving this recently and it just, it looked good. I've been liking these vegetable spring rolls and then these vegetable pouches. I grabbed a box of this mac and cheese to try. One of the workers that was like getting off their shift grabbed one of these and I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna try it. It says it's a four cheese mac and cheese. It's cheddar, Swiss, Havarti, and Gouda. It'll probably be pretty good. I'm excited to try this. Some fried rice solely because Lauren Gerardo said this is Henny's favorite. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Some eggs and then we got a boneless pork tenderloin. Milk, apple cider. Trader Joe's has really good apple cider. This shit is the best I've tried. On to all the snacks. I know damn well this is the second Trader Joe's haul in this vlog, and I hope you don't mind. I'm hungry. I feel like this vlog just happened to be like split a little bit longer than a week. Like you just happened to catch me going grocery shopping twice. Madeline cookies, some hand twisted cinnamon sugar bread. This is so good. Cinnamon roll bread, also absolutely delicious with like a thick layer of Kerrygold butter, like cold. Oh, so good. Some rigatoni and some penne. These are easily like my two favorite cuts of pasta. I like any Thing that has like that open hole so that sauce can kind of get inside of it. I do have like another pasta to show you guys. It might be like a new item. They were stocking it for the first time tonight. I've never seen it at Trader Joe's. I ended up getting three bags and these are huge noodles. Like I'm so pumped to see like how big they get when they're cooked. I also grabbed some unfiltered apple juice. This is for a bourbon chicken recipe. Some tortilla chips and then kettle corn. This maple kettle corn, so good. It tastes just like somebody fried it in a kettle right in front of you. It's so good. And y'all already know I had to get a little bag of sour swimmers. These are both like like different but they both look intriguing so i also grabbed some organic frosted toaster pastries these are in the flavor cherry pomegranate so some organic pop tarts i don't even eat pop tarts but when i saw these i was like that's super cool they look really yummy like cherry pomegranate sounds enticing so crunchy cinnamon squares and i got these honey o's because i feel like the last several times i've went i've seen the joe's o's but when i saw honey o's i was like those are probably really good so these are the last two things i got i'm sure they'll be good but i'll definitely update y'all they're good you'll see them again i'm sure i just got done showing you guys everything we got from trader joe's and changed in to my pjs these are actually christmas pjs from a couple years ago i think i got them at target but 
I've just got like the Grinch and a little Santa hat. Oh, that sound was horrible. Are you okay? I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up because we did do some Christmas shopping. I did get everything I needed to get though. Like everything that was on like my list, I ended up grabbing. So that's nice. But I picked myself up the very last um, Fenty Kilowatt. It's a highlighter and blush duo. I think it might just be a highlighter duo, but I'm going to use it as like a highlighter blush. I don't really have that much makeup on, but I'll be able to tell if I like the color of this on my skin because I'm pretty specific. I'm gonna put it on with y'all and then like let it wear in. I feel like when you first do your makeup, it looks like almost too good. Like an hour later is when it looks its best. Like once it's like mixed with your natural oils. Packaging of all of the Fenty Beauty is so pretty. Here's what she's looking like. There's a mirror in this, which I really like. I feel like compacts give super cheap energy when they can't put a mirror in it. I don't really have any blush on today, which is honestly so rare. I really like this color, especially on my nose. I'm zooming y'all in. I've been tapping so lightly because I feel like ruining the imprint at first is so sad. Typically wouldn't like this much shimmer. I don't know, in this lighting, it could be fooling me, but it's very much so melting into my skin. It's giving like perfectly glowy and highlighted on my nose, but not too like shimmery. I don't know, it's giving more of a glow. I'll have to let it grow on me, but I think I'm liking it so far. This is gonna be my daughter the entire time, just sniffing everything. I have these little containers and I'm thinking a bath bomb will fit in here perfectly. I might even be able to keep like the paper that's on them, on them. That's what I'm hoping to do. This one, I'm really hoping I can keep the bag on because I'll show you. The top of it is like covered in glitter. That actually works so good. I'm gonna start with the bath bomb. Okay, I'll definitely like wrap this up, but this is gonna go in there too. A pack of these hydrocolloid patches, and then I'm gonna put one of these in there as well. I don't know if this will really fit in there. This one isn't Christmassy, but it smells so good. A mini Toblerone because these are so cute. I can't, everybody needs one. A container of these. I picked up a little nail scrubber. I thought this was cute. And then I actually have another Squishmallow. Kyle and I are gonna be making cookie boxes for our families. So just a bunch of different cookies, like a good little assortment. Look how freaking dope these cookie boxes are gonna turn out. This is like a little smorgasbord assembly, if you will, just for like Kyle's Instagram, so it looks real cute and we could get pictures, but I've got a bunch more of everything here and we're gonna box it up as like a little gift. It's gonna be cute. What are you doing? She's got her cookie. Oh, you got your cookie? How cute. We didn't even make chocolate chip. Here is one of the boxes, like pretty packed up. This is like the larger size or a medium size box, but we've got a bunch of cookies. It looks so cute. And then the snowballs are gonna go here, but we're baking them fresh right now. This one is for my mom. And then this one is for my dad. I want somebody else to make me a cookie box.